Mm. Oh. Truly Tickos in the house. How you doing there, Truly Tickle? Thanks for hopping in this morning and jumping on board with us with our content at hand today. <clears throat> Hop on a little bit earlier today. Just uh, getting ready to uh, go over our next set in our Topps baseball card video series with the 1976 Topps. I'm always for uh, past couple days. Yes, you have been first. Actually, uh, Sally Lloyd actually hopped in earlier today, or actually yesterday after I posted the stream up for today. So, in a mirror technicality, you. you popped in yes with the live i'm really nervous don not feeling to hit but i'm going to do it i don't want to disappoint oh no problem sally you'll be fine it'll be exciting we'll have a great time and it'll just be fun today okay uh it'll be like two friends getting together in the chat and you'll be able to share what was sent and shared from the community um, this was a, a, a community uh, action type event, um, including everything that will be revealed once you pull things out of the box. So it will be fun, exciting, and absolutely great, <laughs> for lack of better words to say. But um, I just want to jump on just a few minutes early here, right at 10 o'clock. We will go into the, the baseball card uh, video series for the 1976 top set as soon as the, the clock does strike 10. So we got about five minutes to just um, chat around the room. Uh, it looks like we do have five people with us here this morning. And uh, so pretty much, pretty much... Um, that's what's on the docket for today. I do have a few packages that have come in so far for um, for this Friday's family mail call. It's 10.57 for me. Uh, 10.57. I have 9.55 on my computers. So those are usually pretty accurate on the times. But that is cool there. Thanks, Truly Tickle. A few more minutes and we'll get into the content at hand. That is for sure. Uh, while we are waiting and stuff, I'm going to just go ahead and get uh, some of the box information ready for um, when we roll into the the family mail call packages for Friday. Um, you from California? Um, well, let's see. No, um, Sally Lloyd is over in Europe, and I am just north of Seattle there, Truly Tickle. Truly Tickle, I am a Seattle Mariners fan, tried and true. I do like my Seattle Mariners, that's for sure. So with, uh, with that in mind, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I hail out of here. All right, get that ready. Get this ready. Um, let's see here. There we go. Get that ready. So we do have about two and a half more minutes to go, and then we will get into the content at hand. Um, 
that's right yeah yeah me it's uh uh 6 p.m for sally and i didn't want to keep her up too late so i started a little bit earlier that way she has uh time to to get ready for whatever she might have to do a little bit later and i'm just got one more piece of tape to add on here and then these packages are ready for um friday's family mail call um, I have to set myself up. I'm so worried. I'm going to mess this up. Oh, don't worry about that, Sal Sally. You will do fine. <clears throat> You'll have everything ready to go probably by the time we get ready to jump over to StreamYard. Okay? So when we do do the StreamYard, uh, for the first part, I will only be bringing Sally on. Okay? We'll see after we are done with Sally if we want to hang out. We can do that and maybe have um, uh, different people come join us in the chat, depending on who might be here still when we get to that point. Um, get better, take meds, and sleep. Okay. So... Make one more adjustment here. We got about a minute or less to go, and then we will get into our 1976 top set. Um, that's what I have to do. Oh, okay, get better, take meds, and sleep. Yeah, that helps when you when you're trying to heal up and get get better, getting better health. But we're hoping that this helps boost your morale and your spirits, there, Sally. By by uh seeing what the community wanted to share with you so we do have less than a minute to go it should clock over to 10 o'clock any second here and then i will get ready to go over our 1976 set as soon as i see it on my computer that it says it's 10 o'clock we will get into our content at hand we do have five people in the stream so we'll be getting ready to rock and roll I know there's people probably stopping and start or hanging out in the background. A lot of people uh, listen and or watch while they are working. And I do have some drivers. So lucky, lucky, by God's grace. Hi at Sally Lloyd and truly Chico. Thanks, sir. Lucky, lucky for jumping in with us this morning. Do appreciate that. So without further ado, we're going to get into our 1976 top set our 1976 top set of course 1976 in america's bicentennial year the players talked to their agents the owners talked to their lawyers and baseball's most publicized player talked to baseball talked to baseballs seattle which had been in and then out was back in again a club owner sued the commissioner, and in the midst of all the confusion, Ted Turner arrived on the scene. As 1975 ended, all of baseball interest was centered on what was going to happen to one player, Dodgers pitcher Andy Messersmith. He had decided to let the Players Association use him as a test for the reserve clause. When he wasn't pleased with the contract, the Dodgers had offered him for 1976. Messer Smith had said, in effect, I won't sign a contract so you can automatically renew last year's. But after I play this year, I want to be free to make a deal with whomever I want. When the arbitrator, Peter Seitz, found for the Players Association, the owners reached for the phone to call their attorneys. First stop was the U.S. District Court of Washington District of Missouri. Uh, Judge Aaron, Judge Oliver held upheld seats, so it was on to the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, where a three-judge panel agreed with Judge Oliver. The next stop would have been the Supreme Court, but by this time the owners were beginning to recognize that it was no use. Then came the job of working out a lifestyle that would be acceptable to both owners and players. Needless to say, it wasn't easy. The players asked the owners for a 
proposal. The owners made one, the players rejected it, and the clubs then announced that spring training camps would not be opened until there were a new agreement. On March 15th, with camps still closed, the owners made what they called their final offer. It included a major concession in the matter of reserve clauses that stating that any player who didn't sign a 1976 contract would be eligible for free agency at the end of the season. And since some players had already signed for 1976, the same thing would be true regarding 1977 contracts. The free agents would go through a process known as a re-entry draft in which interested clubs would select players whom they would like to negotiate and the players would then weigh the offers and pick the one that appealed to them. When the package was presented to the players they turned it down but not unanimously and conciliation efforts began. The camps were opened and everybody went back to work. The All-Star time, the agreement was at All-Star time, the agreement was formalized. Messersmith continued to make headlines. On March 31st, the Yankees announced that they had signed him, but his agent said the Yankees had changed the deal and it was off. The commissioner investigated and agreed, and agreed there was no deal. On April 10th, Messersmith signed a three-year contract, reportedly for a million dollars, with Ted Turner of the Atlanta Braves. At the end of the year, the first re-entry draft took place, with the Yankees paying top money to Reggie Jackson. On the playing field, there was a phenomenon Mark, named Mark Fidrich, pitching for the Detroit Tigers. He was 22 years old and was the kind of free spirit ball players often described as a flake. Had more curls than Little Orphan Annie and talked to the baseball before he threw it. The indic indictions were that it listened because he would up the season with a 19 and 9 record and led the league in ERA and complete games. He also packed the ball park every time he pitched. The American League playoff between the Yankees and the Royals turned out to be a dandy, ending dramatically in the ninth inning of the fifth game on a home run by Chris Chambliss. In the National League, however, everything was drowned out by the sound of the big red machine. The Reds won their division by title by 10 games, swept the Phillies in, in the playoff, and then swept the Yankees in the World Series, the first National League club to win consecutive World Series since the Giants did it in 1921 and 1922. The bicentennial year drew record attendances, but it was liberally touched with tragedy. Pittsburgh pitcher Bob Moose was killed in an auto accident, and Danny Thompson traded to the Rangers after more than six years as the Twins' shortstop, died of leukemia. Pittsburgh manager Danny Murtaugh, 59 years old, died as a result of a stroke two months after retiring as Pirates boss. Tom Yockey, owner of the Red Sox for 40 years, died at the age of 73, one of the sports world's most respected figures. Yockey saw his team win three pennants, but never a World Series. So the cards in this set, just as in 1974, Topps added to this 660-card set a traded series of 44 cards. The set featured the 1975 record breakers, which included Aaron and Seaver, on cards 1 to 6, and father-son group 66 through 70, among which were Gus and Buddy Bell, and Ray and Bob Boone, all-time stars, cards number 341 through 350, and picturing, among others, Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, and Roger Hornsby, and Joe Gargiola, Bazooka, Major League Bubblegum Blowing Champion, Kurt Bavacqua. It also had the last card issued of Hank Aaron, which was card number 550, as an active player that year. 
So there we go. Um, let's see, who do we got still? Sally, Truly Tickle, and Lucky Lucky. So cool. All right, so that takes care of the history of this baseball card set and what took place in baseball in 1976. So now we will get into going through and highlighting the cards in this set, okay? So as usual, I will disembark. <laughs> oh, I know that sounds kind of technical. Disembark my, my tripod and get ready to highlight the cards in this set. So hopefully you guys enjoy this part as you get to see the cards from this set of 1976. So it is a little bit cloudy out here today. It was snowing off and on. I think it stopped for the moment. It's supposed to snow off and on through about mid-afternoon here and then turn to rain later this afternoon. So here we go with our, our cards in this baseball set. Of course, you got Hank, Aaron, Bobby Bonds, Mickey Lolick, Dave Lopez, all right, Tom Seaver, um, Rennie Stennant are the first uh, six cards in the set that were mentioned at during the history portion. I'll go through and just shout out and mention some of the 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 better known players. Lou Brock, when he played for the National League All Star team back in the day. All right. So we will go through these cards, and then shortly thereafter, we will get into part two, where I will switch from uh, Streamlabs over to StreamYard. It's not too hard a switch to make. I just uh, leave this stream open, hop over into StreamYard, and then reactivate the stream and continue on, and then I'll post the link in and Sally will jump on board with us and we will be able to see the box that was sent to her with all kinds of goodies in it. Dusty Baker with the Braves there. Probably after each two pages I'll peek up on the on the chat. I'm going out to smoke my last ciggy. Sally, you smoke? I didn't know you smoked. Oh, my word. Okay. <clears throat> Gary Maddox with the Phillies. We'll see, I'll, I'm gonna, just for extra here, two or three a day, not many. Oh, gotta have that nicotine fix, huh? Dave Concepcion. There we go, Los Angeles Dodgers team card. All right. Here we go, Fred Lynn with the Red Sox, Gold Cup card. For those that don't know, the Gold Cup card is when they make it to the All-Star game in a year. So yes, sometimes players, and usually it's the first time that they make it to the All-Star game. When they get the actual Gold Cup award. Gaylord Perry with the, the Rangers. Buddy Bell and Gus Bell. There we go. Steve Rogers with the Expos. Father and son. Roy Smalley and Roy Smalley Sr. So even back in the day, they had father-son duos playing in the majors. 
This was back in 1976. So it's not like it's nothing new. Kind of like the family business. Let's play baseball. Pass it on to generation to generation. All right. Here we go, the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Oscar Gamble with the Indians. Cecil Cooper with the Red Sox. I like that. Mike Tyson with the Cardinals. Now batting for the St. Louis Cardinals, Mike Tyson. Nope, not the boxer. Sal Bando with the Oakland A's. Brooks Robinson with the Orioles. As long as the chat cooperates with me, I can kind of see the chat in the stream here. I'll just look up every once in a while, kind of lately and recently in the chat. Um, pretty much, it, it's been freezing up a lot. Tom Greve with the Rangers, the Cincinnati Reds team card. Right. <clears throat> Jay Johnstone with the Phillies. I remember Jay Johnstone back in the day when I used to watch the Philadelphia Phillies when I was in high school. I was a junior in high school this year. I graduated in 19... 1977 which will be next year or next week <laughs> next year next week when we do the 1977 baseball card set Tom Baylor with the Orioles Luis Tiant with the Red Sox There we go, Ken Griffey Sr., Ken Griffey's dad with the Cincinnati Reds. Gary Matthews with the Giants. Mike Ivey with the Pod San Diego Padres. Gold Cup card. Jerry Grope with the New York Mets. Larry Parrish with the Montreal Expos Gold Cup card. Vita Blue back in the day. I remember Vita Blue watching him play. Cool, cool, cool. It's always nice when you get into the era where you start recognizing a lot of the players Larry Boa shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies seen him play many many a times when I was a kid in this remember my junior year I would every time they were on TV I would watch the Philadelphia Phillies the New York Mets Houston Astros team card every once in a while I'd get to see the New York Yankees on TV I went only went to the Philadelphia Philly games when my dad took me on occasions. Leroy Stanton with the Angels.
Dave Winfield with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. Tom Helgendon. Don't remember him as much. But he was with the Philadelphia Phillies. Gene Tennis with the Oakland A's All-Star card. First baseman. All-Star third baseman. Greg Nettles with the Yankees. Texas Rangers team card. Charlie Ho and the Dodgers. Dave Parker with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric Jabs. How many cards are there here? Um, 660, Sally. 660 cards in this set. We're about getting close to the one-third of the way through the cards. Batting leaders here. Rod Carew, Fred Lines, Thurman Munson for the American League. And then the National League, Bill Madlock. Uh, Ted Simmons and Manny Seguin. Don't worry, you've got time to breathe. <laughs> this is we're gonna have fun, Sally. Home run leaders, there we go. Greg Lazinski, I remember him back in the day. Oh my word, he could pop that ball. So we got home, American League, National League home runs leader, bat it. Uh, runs batted in, RBIs. I have enough time to get indigestion. <laughs> Sally. Strikeout leaders, Tom Seaver. Gaylord Perry. Burt Blylevin. These are all the leader cards here. The earned run average leaders. Uh, American League and National League uh Pitching leaders. All right. Lee May with the Baltimore Orioles. Lady Carroll with the Reds. All right. Just now making it to the one third, one third of the way through the set. As we come up to card number 220. They might show, might go a little bit longer. They might have the, uh, the tops traded set in here also i didn't think to look ahead to find out for sure but we will find when we get to the end if they do have the tops traded for 1976 included in the book here since that's when they started making the tops traded set in this era carl yastrzemski with the boston red sox sally's favorite team Pete Rose with the Cincinnati Reds. Kansas, Kansas City Royals team card. Burt Blylevin with the Twins. Hector Torres with the San Diego Padres. Monday with the Cubs, Fergie Jenkins with the Rangers,
Terry Harmon with the Phillies. Just nice looking through, and you can see some of the players you, you knew maybe from this era. Aaron Kinski's in the house. How you doing there, Aaron? Nice to have you join us here this morning. After we finish going through this set here, we will be uh, bringing uh, Sally Lloyd onto the stream with us. She's going to highlight the, the box that I sent her. Just a brief highlight. She's not going to go into depth. Just to kind of pull out and show what's in the box. and She'll have plenty of time to go through the couple of sets that she she got from me. All right. Willie Stargell up there. Sorry, forgot to shout him out. Joe Negro with the Astros. Rick Dempsey with the Yankees. Here we go. Chicago Cubs team car. I like when they do the... I don't know if it's... Was that the Chicago Cubs last week when we did it too? Where they just show their 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 headshots there? Their... their Portrait shots, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Instead of having the whole team standing there in a picture, probably couldn't get the whole team together to get a get a team picture that way. Bert Hooten with the Dodgers. I'm good. Just got out of the hospital last Thursday. Awesome, Aaron. We'll continue to pray for you. Hopefully, you're doing better. Killer with the Orioles. Right, getting close to closer to in the next in the next page after this one to the halfway point in the cards. In this set, Ted Simmons with the Cardinals, Bill Castro with the Brewers, Ed Kirkpatrick with the Pirates. Shout out to Eric Jabs. He started to. To do some more live streams now that the baseball season and new card sets are starting to come out. I think Top Series 1's coming out this week. I have a box that I did order. I'll be getting that in as soon as it shows up to my house. They're definitely getting more expensive, that's for sure. As the... There's the California Angels there team card um, as the sport gets revitalized as far as the card collecting communities with all the channels that are getting hot with being able to share your love for baseball cards on YouTube lots of YouTube uh, channel content has been created with uh, people sharing their finds and breaking open cards on on their channels and stuff Bob Boone with the Philadelphia Phillies and then Robert Robin Yelt with the Brewers Hall of Famer um, Jim Bibby Glenn Abbott with the Oakland A's Jose Cruz with the Astros Larry Gura with the Yankees here we go Tony Perez with the Reds Thanks for sharing these lovely uh, 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 design images. Oh, no problem. The price, the prices get scary. One hundred and twenty-five ish for one card. Oh yeah, some of these cards can get expensive. The rare, the rarer they are, the more expensive they do get. This is just fun going through these sets. Uh, Bob Gritch with the Orioles. Right. V V V Sports. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Yep, this is fun. I did this is I'm going through the whole top series from when they started their set. We're up to 1976. The books that I have that highlight these sets goes up to 1986 and then a few miscellaneous ones. There's some sporting news cards for all uh all-time all-stars. All right, Roger Hornsby, Lou Gehrig, 
uh, Mickey Cochran, Ted Williams, Ty Cobb. There's a Babe Ruth there. Like to get a hold of some of these, that's for sure. Honus Wagner, uh, Pie Trainer. All right, we did pass the halfway mark. Walter Johnson and Lefty Grove. Six to Lescano and the Brewers. Buddy Bell with the Indians. Ted Martinez with the A's. Here we go. Steve Carlton with the Philadelphia Phillies. He was an awesome pitcher back in the day. I remember watching him a lot. I really enjoyed his pitching. <clears throat> All right, Detroit Tigers there, team guard. Paul D, what's up, Sally? Hope you're doing well today, and thank you, Lucky Lucky. I'll have a mail video this Friday, May 1st. Carlton Fisk with the Red Sox. Bobby Valentine with the Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Car Collecting. Okay, Ron Say with the Dodgers. All right. So Johnny Briggs, Dan Warthen with the Expos. <clears throat> there we go, Philadelphia Phillies team card. Oh, don't, Sally, come on, don't be nervous. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. It'll be exciting and fun to watch. And then uh, later as you go through and highlight different parts of the unboxing on your own videos, that will be awesome to see you um, go through some of those and highlight different things within that mass, as you put it, that massive box checklist there's a checklist card that's right see Sally VVV sport card is saying relax Sally it's not that hard and it'll be fun it'll be fun watching you do the other videos and load them up also now that you have a as you say it you have a stand for your phone so you so it'll hold it nice and steady and get good good video for your channel Tom Underwood, Philadelphia Phillies, Gold Cup card. Raleigh Fingers with the Oakland A's. All right. Getting close to two-thirds of the way through the cards here. Joe Morgan, All-Star second baseman with the Reds. Tommy John with the Dodgers. Early on in his career, that's for sure. Vita Pinson with the Royals. Oakland A's team card. Johnny Grubb with the San Diego Padres. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what's in this long-awaited box. Tom Beer Berizer with the Tigers Gold Cup card. Kurt Bakava Bakwa with the Brewers. <laughs> All right.
Phil Negro with the Braves. Gary Nolan with the red, San Francisco Giants. There we go, Gary Carter, Gold Cup card for Carter's kids. He's a Gary Carter fan. All right, card number 440, two thirds of the way through the set. Jim Palmer with the Orioles. Lou Pinella with the Yankees when he was a ball player, not a manager. <laughs> that's. He's been around for a while, that's for sure. Earl Williams with the Braves. Jim Brewer with the Angels. Cesar Cedeno with the Houston Astros National League Championships. The 1975 World Series. Mike Marshall with the Dodgers. Mike Schmidt with the Philadelphia Phillies. Awesome player back in the day. The Cleveland Indians team card. Joe Rudy, all-star. First base and outfield for the Oakland A's. Rudy May. Frank Tanana with the Angels. Juan Benitez with the Rangers. Pittsburgh Pirates team card. Shout out to Eric Jabs, Jabs family. Mario Guerrero with the Cardinals. Bill Hands with the Rangers. Amos Otis. Steve Yeager with the Dodgers. Mark Johnson with the White Sox. Johnny Milner with the Mets. Willie McCovey with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Car Collecting and more. Another checklist card. Billy Williams with the Oakland A's. Don Sutton with the Dodgers, the New York Mets team card. Milt May with the Astros.
Wayne Twitchell with the Philadelphia Phillies. Sparky Lyle with the Yankees. There we go. Card number 550. Hank Aaron with the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> Still hanging tough with five people in the stream. Don't forget the thumbs up in the stream, guys. Appreciate it if you can give me my thumbs up in the stream. I know some have probably already done it, and there we we only have a few people here, but every thumbs up does does count. There we go, 1975 Joe Gargiola Bazooka Bubblegum Blowing Champ, Kurt Bakova. With the Milwaukee Brewers. What the bubble going on there? Tug McGraw with the Philadelphia Phillies. Back in the day. White Evans with the Red Sox. Don Kessinger with the Cardinals. Rich Coggins with the Yankees. Getting closer to the end here. Getting closer to the drum roll for part two of our stream. Bert Campaneras, All-Star Shortstop. St. Louis Cardinals team card. Ron Schuler with the Phillies. Joe Torre with the Mets. Here we go. 1976 rookie pitchers. Outfielders. Some more pitchers. Some infielders. More pitchers, rookie catchers, and outfielders. And that was a big bubble, that's for sure. Back on that card, Bakova. Rookie pitchers, rookie outfielders, rookie pitchers, rookie infielders, every other card's pitchers. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah, you do have to have a lot of pitchers to make it through baseball. Ken Rudolph with the Cardinals. Milwaukee Brewers team card. Greg Lezinski with the Philadelphia Phillies. A power, power driver. Back in the day, he was kind of like the, the power hitters of today. Okay, after this we got about one more page and then we'll see for sure if they have the tops traded cards that set included in here. If so, we'll have another hundred cards to probably go through. Tom Hall, Al Oliver, Bill Butler with the twins. J.R. Richard with the Astros. Bob Sheldon with the Brewers. Bill Plummer with the Reds. Sandy Alomar with the Yankees. Larry Christensen with the Philadelphia Phillies. Atlanta Braves team card. Bruce Bochy with the Angels. Bill Madlock with the Chicago Cubs. Tom Bradley with the Giants. Another checklist card. 
Oh yeah, they do have the the tops traded cards here. Oh, that's right. Back in this day, they um, they pretty much it was the same card number from the set, but they would add a T at the end if they were traded to another team. That's the way they they did it back in the day until they made their own uh, number sequence for the tops traded set. So you could get the traded. You just have to make. I think they just put a an extra information on the card to show that it was traded and who they were traded to, basically. Thurman Munson with the Yankees. Mike Morris with the A's. Doug Griffin with the Red Sox. Ben Ogilvy with the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox team card. And Mike Vale with the Mets. So, yeah. Then you have the Traded Series. Okay. <clears throat> and here I'll just go ahead and highlight the through these. You can see their card number is the same card number from the set. And then they did make a checklist at the end of it. Stubb, Mickey Rivers, Bergie Jenkins. Last page here from the Drops Traded set back in 1976. Bob Bailey, Bobby Bonds traded to to the An Angels. Yankees trade Bonds to the Angels. Morris Nettles, Jim Crawford. Falcon becomes a red bird. Doc Ellis. Yankees get Doc Ellis from the Bucks. There we go. Willie Randolph. Give you the little sports extra. Right. Dave Roberts was the last one, and then the, the tops traded checklist. All right, there we go. There we have it. Deerman's in the house. How you doing, Deerman? You hopped on, and then just a sneak peek. Next week, we will be doing the 1977 tops. 1977 tops will be next week. All right, so let me, um, sorry, I'm going to just set that out to the side there for just a second. And then uh, I'm going to realign everything and get us ready to go to the next stage. I am going to stream, oh, switch over to StreamYard. All right, for those that just hopped on with us here, I'm going to get ready to line things up here to make the switch from... Uh, Stream Labs to Stream Yard, just so you do know. Okay, nice to see you back here, German. Haven't been seeing you too much here lately. Been just busy playing your Fortnite with your friends, I'm assuming. Okay, so we are going to switch over to the, the Stream Yard format. 
again, just so those know, uh, our posada is in the house. Um, so for the first part of the next section of the video, we will be highlighting, as it shows in the title, 1976 Topps Baseball Card Video Series and Sally Lloyd Box Arrival and Preview Opening. I called it mainly a preview opening. Um, I started streaming on a platform for Fortnite, so I've been starting to take it seriously and do work and do work and doing my schoolwork. Well, that's no problem. That's good there, Dearman. I'm glad you found something that works better for you. Uh, streaming on a platform for Fortnite. That is cool. So hopefully you'll get better in that and you'll be a, a Fortnite extraordinaire. How's that sound? So I'm going to get ready. Um, you'll see a, be a brief pause in the action. But then when I do come on, um, I will post the link for the, the stream yard. Um, that we're going to open up and then uh, Sally Lloyd will be joining us and she will be the only one that will be um, joining in at first I'm going to join um, not not right away there Dearman if you're still here when we switch over to when Sally is done previewing her box we will probably do that okay right now initially it's just going to be me and Sally on StreamYard okay during the first part and then later if we do have time and if you're still here we'll let you join in for sure okay buddy but i'm going to go ahead and uh uh i have to jump off of a stream uh, actually i think i can do it let me see if i can do it um yeah i gotta do this i'm gonna sign off from here and sign on to StreamYard. So I will have a brief interruption here, but I won't be ending the stream as we switch cameras, okay? So let me go ahead and end, keep. All right, it looks like we are back in business. You guys still there with me? I think you're probably still there with me from what I can tell. <clears throat> It would appear to me that you are still there with me. All right. So if I can get a thumbs up from people so I know you're back in the stream with me, I'd appreciate that very much. And then as soon as I get the link up here for the stream yard, we will get Sally to join us. Again, you, you can stay in the queue if you want to, but I won't be bringing you on live with me until I am done with the content at hand, okay? So that's what we're going to do uh, for now. So I'm going to put the link in here just so we do have everything up and running, okay? So let me add the link in here. And then Sally, if when when as soon as you are ready, we will have you hop on with me, and I will figure out. I think. Yeah, as soon as I have you in here, we'll, I'll I'll get the screens figured out. I, I I want it to mainly be focused on you, so we will do that. And I I believe there's a, there should be a way I can do that. So. That is what we will do when we get to that point. Uh, so, Sally, don't you be nervous. It'll be fun. Um, it's not working. Oh, my word. It's not working. You can't get the link to work or what? Oh, you know what? Something is... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me give, give you a different link. It looks like maybe that link is not working for some reason. Uh, really? <clears throat> um, uh, 
Um, hold on. Let me try. It looked like it looks like the link. Oh, hold on. Let me try it one more time, there, Sally. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. The link isn't working. Okay, try this one. I think this one might work better. Possibly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Try that one, and hopefully that one. There we go. No, that's Dearman. I don't want you, Dearman. Thank you, though. I see you there, buddy. I think Sally is hooking up here. I see you, Sally. All right. I think it worked that time. I had the wrong one, I believe. Where's Sally? How you doing? I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> Why? You shouldn't be nervous. Because I've never done anything like this live. That's okay. I've got bed head hair because I've been in bed all day because I'm not too well. Well, that's fine. You're going to turn the camera around so we won't have to see you really that much when you're showing us what you got. Thank you. I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you don't have to do it this way. You can do it however you want no, to do it. No, no, no. Um, just to let people know, there are the first two box set of box items I ordered from Donald. Now, I can tell you how long I ordered it from because I did find a letter in there. And the letter in there is dated. 13th of September, and I remember when I ordered them because I ordered them from your grand eight hour uh live stream from your garage sale in August. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. And you are going on about your 777 mm -hmm. um, uh, giveaway, and I'm like thinking, oh boy. <laughs> Has it really been that long? So I wish to apologize. That's okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with this. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Oops. Oof. That's what we're doing there. So, can you Look still hear Fireworks me? in the background. <laughs> That's, it's Chrissy Stars. There so, we go. These ones here, whoop, stay put, you. <laughs> These ones are part of the Don Russ, because I got um, a 99-1 Don Russ, mm -hmm. which had been opened. So you decided you'd put that one into a smaller box. So this is the... 1991 Don Russ, mm -hmm. and this is the unopened factory sealed. Oops, stay put. You <laughs> see what I mean? I've got it on the bed. It's okay. So it's kind of this is logo stickers. And full baseball set. Right. This is 1989 Fleer. You know who's um, in that one, right? Pardon? You know who's in that one, right? Gossage, by any chance? Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, Ken Griffey. Well, you're not getting him back. <laughs> Um, there was more of a seal, but it got ripped. Yeah. When but, I but for the most off. most part, it should be intact. Yeah, it was more. There was more of it when I got it. So <laughs> I'm assuming you added the sellotape to it. Yeah, just so it wouldn't rip more. Just yeah. so it wouldn't open in transit. Yeah. Now, that is where what I actually know is in here stops. Because because I certainly didn't buy this <laughs> on weight. It weighs four 
1.456 kilos. <laughs> and I sure as hell did not, oh, pardon my language, but I sure as hell did not order that. So oh, I added yeah. some extra stuff in there. Oh, yeah, not half. <laughs> a little package. Mm -hmm. Now, I will admit I did was a bit sneaky. And I did open these. And as there's only a few in here, I'll let you see. There is uh, Craig Kimbrell. Mm -hmm. uh, Ian Kinsella. And you see, I don't know if you can see, but these are all like um, from the holiday boxes. Yeah. Now, I remember making comment to you that I loved the holiday boxes. And the other thing that if you see, these are all Red Sox players. Uh -huh. Justin Padoria, JD Martinez, <laughs> a David Price, and this Michael Chavez is really nice because all the bits on here are raised. Right, that, that means it's a short print. There, it's a short print. Now, does it have a num number on it? No, it just, um, it doesn't have a number on it. Right. It just says HW23, yeah. but it's absolutely, but it's an absolutely gorgeous, and uh -huh. it is his rookie card. Yeah. So I did have a look at those, but only because they were open. And <laughs> when I opened it, they were on the top of the package and kind of shot out on my feet. So <laughs> then I have a blue package from um, Kevin. Right. Now, I'm just going to put my finger thumb over there because that's his private address. Right. That's fine. But it's Kevin's card. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't opened it yet, but there's something nice in it. Um, I don't want to open it yet because he's not online. If he was yeah. online, oh, well, you, open. you could do that on a separate video. Yeah, I'll, I'll save that one for when he's in. God, I don't know what else is in here. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There is a something okay. <laughs> I have a baseball. Uh huh. Oh wow. Uh oh. oh. Uh, you okay? I don't know if you can read that. Of course, you gotta open the box up. Uh, just let me read what it says. Signed by Donald L. Blumdahl Jr., Team Seattle Mariners, 30th of August, 2019, <laughs> on, the, on the occasion of my 555 subscriber contest. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew you might like that one. Oh, this will go in my... Oh, wow. Oh, this will go in my, this will go in my display cabinet. <laughs> oh, wow. It is an official baseball. My first ever, my first ever baseball. And it's signed by your truly. Oh, signed by you. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, Don, Don, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just as well, you can't see me because I'm bucketing. <laughs> There's a little bit more in here. Um, I have tops, I have a pack of top stadium. Hmm. In, in a nice box. 
Woo! Wow! Jeez oh! Jeez oh! <laughs> oh! I've got some lovely top loaders. Good cards putting in for the use of. There you go. <laughs> Great. Save them for your special cards. Yeah. And and I have and I'm really pleased with this. Cause I said I wanted this. <laughs> now you got one. And um this will be really good. And um I will make sure I put that somewhere safe as well. Um, and I have a Topps Chrome Rookie, really nice one, single card of Danny Anson. It's one of the sort of like the Chrome ones. Um, wow. Um, mm. I, I, I'm really, oh, oh dear. The rowdy tillers kind of got a bit squished, I'm afraid. Uh oh. But hey, I don't mind. It's not unsalvageable. <laughs> and and to be totally honest, you wouldn't really notice. So that's my Toronto Blue Jays. <laughs> one of my one of my many teams. I'm a Mariners car Mariners fan because my father used to work on the sea. I'm a Blue Jays fan because my friend, my bestie, one of my besties lives in Toronto. <laughs> and I'm a Red Sox fan just because I love the Red Sox. <laughs> I have a thing for red footwear. <laughs> I'm just weird that way. Okay, so what have I got? Ooh. I have... Um, Another box of cards here, mm. and whoop, uh, wow, a humongously big box of cards. <laughs> <laughs> huh? A bazooka, which I'm betting to chewing gum. <laughs> because it sounds like it, and if it's not, it should be. <laughs> Oh, wow. I I'm going to need to get another box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You're going you're gonna to have to reorganize your whole baseball card set now. Yeah, and I've got, oh, wow. And I've got another load of flea, lovely, cool stickers. <laughs> that will go with my other load of stickers <laughs> oh wow but these are um these are 1991 stickers so these are not going to be the same as was in my set so i'm assuming the card you promised is in one of these somewhere so i now have to go hunt for it <laughs> I'm not going to do that tonight, but I am, I, I am absolutely stunned. I'm just going to have a, oh, wow, you sent me Mariners and, oh, wow, just to show, there is a really cool Red Sox sticker. <laughs> And a really cool Mariner sticker. <laughs> and, and some more Mariners and some more of the Mariners and the Expos and oh wow. And the more red red socks and <laughs> it's really hard to show these on the camera, but wow and i've got more stickers and i'll show these properly on on a on a i i am i <laughs> you should have plenty of stuff there to do some videos now 
oh hey yeah <laughs> and then i've got like more sort of um on the card ones <clears throat> like lots of action series stickers and they're all my my favorite tea i i i just oh wow the baseball the baseball has absolutely knocked me sideways. Um, can I go back to, to facing you now? Sure. <laughs> I am just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed I mean, it. I mean, even with the stuff I'd, I'd bought, you know that that would have been enough but the stuff that you and and i know kevin's going to have sent me something lovely because he has done before <laughs> and i'm truly 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 um absolutely i i may be cheeky and have a look through the fleer and stuff tonight just just <laughs> to have a look but I, I will do it properly. I will do it properly on screen. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just stunned. I'm just absolutely stunned. Well, somewhere in there, along with the ball, you'll have the card that matches with it. Oh, the ball's in there as well. No, I mean, it's in there as well. Okay. It's somewhere. I can't remember exactly where I put it. It's been so long. It'll be in there somewhere. I know it will be. I I am absolutely stunned. So, I, I am honestly stunned. These these tears. So you know the two sets you got, right? Yeah. Wasn't there another long box too? No. Oh, just everything else was stuffed in there. No, I must. No, you said you'd split the Don Rusts. Right. The Fleer was the other long box. Okay. And you said you said you'd split the you said you'd split the Don Ross into two small boxes because you wouldn't be able to fit it in. Okay. I think I might have put that other card in one in the top of one of those boxes when you Okay. Open. It should like flip open. Okay. No worries. I think I'll that's find it. I know you will have sent it. Don't worry. I trust you. No, you'll find it, and then you can do a separate video for the for the ball and card. Because yeah. I know you've always been saying, and everybody's been commenting, you don't have one of Donald's cards yet? No. I'm just... It's on its way eventually. I tell you. I tell you. I am... These tears are real. Because <laughs> I am just... What you've given me is worth twice as much as I pay for it. I mean, the Fleer alone is probably worth more than what I paid for it. <laughs> and and what you've given me, you, I mean, I was disappointed not to win the ball, but I wasn't upset because it went to a good person. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, didn't Kevin win? No, Kevin got his. He he got the same. Oh, this is another one. This is another. I was thinking, please don't tell me Kevin gave me his ball because I would, I, if he hadn't done it. Because <laughs> if he had have done, I would be having serious words with him. <laughs> no, he's got his. You see his on his little display when he does his openings. But I, I am just absolutely stoked that you thought enough of me to do that for me. I am just so touched. Well, I was just the deliverer. I had to put it in the box there. It was actually donated by the person that, that won it. Oh, fair enough. So, yeah. Well, I don't know who won it, but you do. Mm -hmm. So, on here, I wish to say thank you to Kevin publicly. For his um, package. For his donation. And you, as you know who who did it, yeah. Can you say thank you? Oh, to them. No, no. To the, per to the person who donated uh, mm -hmm. the other thing. Um, I'm not going to push you to find out because obviously, if they wanted me to know, they would have. 
but would you make sure you pass on my oh, thanks yeah. to them? Yeah. Because I am just absolutely, absolutely <laughs> to know not only that you think so much of me, but to know that other people in the stream and, and in the community think so much of me, it 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 gets me right uh, here. Right in your heart. <laughs> yeah, because because it I I really didn't think I made that much of a difference. But to know that I do um to know that I do is just amazing. <laughs> and thank you to all the comments I can see. It just touches my heart and it makes me so glad I found Eric Jabs and that I found you. Yeah. And that I found everybody else because all the people in here, the one thing that I know, the people that I found through you are the good people and the right people. Mm -hmm. And even though certain people have had problems and issues and they're not having necessarily having a good time of it, and we all know who I'm talking about, uh -huh. there's still good people underneath it all. And I would walk a thousand miles barefoot for any of you guys if I had to. Uh -huh. And if I was in your country, I would give you all the help I could. Right now, all I can do is give you prayers and give you support that way because I'm that works. That, that's all I've got. But you uh, know I carry you in my heart uh -huh. and in my soul because you are really special people, hmm. each and every one of you, from the ones who've been there from the beginning to the new ones who sign in to the people like uh, the gorilla family who aren't here tonight who just are just so amazing you are my online family and you mean so much to me and things like this just blow me away and i'm so glad i shared this with you because opening it with you guys has just made it something <laughs> special and it, it's just and I, i'm, I'm going to be even worse when I do it online myself. <laughs> I think Dearman wants to say hi. Okay, sure, sure. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Good. I haven't seen you in like forever. Mm -hmm. I thought you didn't like me anymore. I do. <laughs> you look tired, bro. I'm just lying down, that's why. <laughs> I was gonna say it's only like uh two two fifteen there, right? Seventeen. Two seventeen, okay. Oh, you turned the light on. So we can see him better. Oh. Uh oh, he's turning turning around to show us some cards. Oh There's nice. Their holiday insert. Can you hear him, Don? Yeah. I have this problem sometimes. Oh. Um, would you Hi, mind if I hopped off? I'm I'm just um <laughs> in an emotional wreck and I'll leave you and Damon to chat. Okay. Bye Sally. B Bye for now. <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> Who's that? Trey Machani. Oh, okay. Trey Machani. Eight of twenty-five Father's Day edition autograph. I got this out of a box from Five Below. Oh wow. Jeez. True Seeker sent me that. Ozzy Albie's back. The Albie's relic, huh? I got that from. I got the call. The new product at Walmart. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, right Target. That's fifteen. The boom box. The two wow. hits. An autograph and a hit. I got that. And Bryce Harper. Who's another Bryce Harper? Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. 
Harper, Reese Hoskins, Reese Hoskins, Reese Hoskins. Trying to find them. And then Mike Terrell, I don't know how they got in there. <laughs> oh, there's my Reese Hoskins hot answer. Oh, okay. And then there's your favorite. You say Kikuchi. There we go. And there's another one. It's an empty hall that I have. So you, you've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, huh? Nah, sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Come back. How's school going? Good. Good? Home school's doing good. Yeah, that's good. It's Soto. Mm -hmm. 18. Debate. About. Debate. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> about. Debate. Ben and Tendi. Oh, I'm just jumping around. Holiday. Eight, 17. Holiday. Rookie. Mm hmm. And June showed a looking out in the outer space. <laughs> in the outer space. <laughs> Brian Banster from a uh, Fairfield box. Mm. This is from One Cent. You Holy Jimenez, Chrome Lucky. Mm -hmm. There's some way over. There's like an Aussie Albies. Okay. Mm hmm. And then I got these from a hall, no, from a Fairfield box. Target exclusive opening day Albert pool pool jewels pool holes pool holes yeah. And this is what I got from a hall my first holiday box, the No More Mazzara thingy. Hmm, relic. Yeah. There's a decent one. I got this for a dollar at the antique store near me. They wanted ten dollars originally for it. Uh huh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm reading what Frank said. Oh, okay. Um, card shops near me. The one at a mall thirty minutes away from me. The whole mall, of course, went out. The whole went out of business, and the card shop went out of business forever and retired. Hmm. Are you kidding me? So the only one is like thirty minutes away. And the antique store. That's the best about it. Uh huh. What? I wanted to get a holiday box at Walmart. They didn't have them. I go online on Walmart for a holiday box. On online for Walmart, they want sixty bucks for a holiday box. I'm like, jeez, <laughs> paying a double the price for a holiday box online. There's a Guerrero. Brian O'Hearn, Truth Seeker sent me that. Have you sent out the packages yet for the month for your Patreon thingy? Um, not for February yet. Ah, that's fine. But I'll be getting them probably this week. I should get my payment soon from Patreon. Hmm. You don't have to send me cards if you want anymore. It's fine. Just any old packs or anything you don't want to open, I'll open. <laughs> I don't care if it's if it's what's it called if yeah. packs from the box you always get. Uh -huh. Play, okay. Well, I got that from a Stan Musial. That's cool. Got yeah. auto. It, it's an auto card. Sticker auto. Wow. Otani. Here I got that from a hol no, holiday Fairfield box. That's nice. Don't know who he is. Otani, 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 Otani. He boom. You still work for Amazon? No, I stopped that before Christmas. I only did it for a couple weeks. Thanks. You don't like it? was too hard. Yeah. It's a little bit different than the post office, that's for sure. Yeah. But that's okay. I buy Acuna, Acuna, OxyClean. Uh huh. Oh, wow. I never mind. OxyClean Acuna. 
Ajá. And then another Cunha, another Cunha, Cunha, Cunha. Disco Hernandez. I got this from a pack from Rite Aid. A mm. fat pack. I forget what one it is. But I don't know if I showed you it before, but mm. I like it. Camo bordered 15 of tw- numbered 15 to 25. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, but just, I like this one. This one's cool. I found that. The Dearman Museum. Oh, yeah. Numbered 4170. 76. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I'm going to mute my. I'll be right back. I have to use the back. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So I've been kind of while we were talking, paying attention in the in the chat. So was that your uh, grandmother there, Frank? That that had a spill and had a fall. Hopefully, she didn't break any bones or anything, and everything's doing fine with her. I tried to catch. Bits and pieces of it there. We were hoping she gets there. She took a fall a few weeks ago and is in rehab at the moment, but doing well. Um, Probably a little bit sore would be my guess, but in rehab now. Hopefully she does get better here soon. That's rough when you get up into those years. All right. Dearman's back. Oh, wow. Dragging the garbage pail to the curb. Somebody else needs to do that for her. Well, what do you got there, Dearman? Old World War bullets or something. Someone gave me from all the time. That's better. <laughs> Unshot bullet. Mm hmm. Some old pins and everything. Wow. <coughs> mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. Lucky, lucky, still in here. We still got, uh, I'm trying to think. I think there's still five more people in the stream. I'm going to probably get ready to wrap things up in a little bit here. I'm going to hop off too now. Okay. Bye, well, buddy, it was nice seeing you again. Well, oh, he hopped out pretty quick. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, she took a photo. Okay. Garbage pail to the curb. Yeah. So does any, anybody in the family live close by her that could probably help her out? So she probably shouldn't be doing that. At, wow. Or or she's probably one of those independent older people that they can do everything on their own still. I know sometimes that's the way the way people do get. But, um, yeah. So I do appreciate everybody that joined in with us today. That was nice having Sally with us there to, for a little while. Uh, you still with us, Sally? Let's see, private chat. Did I miss something? Oh, Dearman just saying thank you. All right. And back to the comments. There, that one there. Uh, keep up with new people. Thanks for the cards. Sally's saying thanks for the cards. Bye, guys. Uh, thanks for the cards from Sally. Frank says, yes, my two aunts live near. She is just stubborn and likes to do things herself. My uncle normally does it. Oh, okay. So you do have an uncle that lives fairly close too. And he usually helps out. Sally saying, I'm truly blessed. Well, Sally, it was fun. 
and it's, it was just a blessing to uh, to have you be able to do that to share um, part of the opening. I hope you'll have plenty of days ahead to go through and create content for your channel on the different things that were sent. But uh, yeah, I really do uh, appreciate being able to finally get that out to you. Um, I wouldn't have minded if I had the extra funding to, to have just sent it a lot earlier, but I think uh, in God's time, that's when everything gets provided for and sent. And hopefully you do have, uh, you definitely have plenty of cards to look through, that's for sure. So that is good. Now I've got to pack it away again. <laughs> I like that. Now I've got to pack it away again. Um, Frank says, I will watch the replay of this video. I missed the 1976 set. I like it. Okay. Thanks, sir, Frank. Appreciate you uh, stopping by and visiting. Um, so other than that, I can't think of what else to really um, go over quickly. Um, it looks like we've been gone for about an hour and a half. Oh, I like that, Sally says. No, I had to pay for it. I'm just looking at the flare. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, thanks for watching, Frank. <laughs> It is always nice when there are people in the community that uh, that we do enjoy spending time with, um, having people hop on board and visiting with us. It's just uh, always fun to uh, to just be able to see everybody, to be able to get to talk to people, to be able to to enjoy the chat, and. Uh, other than that, I can't think of anything else we need to touch base with. Of course, tomorrow will be the uh, uh, 1981 Hall of Famers tomorrow for our video series. Uh, we'll be going over Ruby Foster, uh, Bob Gibson, and Johnny Mize. Okay, so that's who we'll be doing tomorrow um, in our content. So other than that, I can't think of anything else really to, to chit chat about and talk. I do have to work on some more videos. I have to work on more content for my channel. Uh, eventually I do have to work on getting more listed, items listed up on eBay. It's just so much to do sometimes and you wonder how you're gonna fit it all into a day. But you know, we go through life one day at a time and we do enjoy doing that so without further ado i am going to get ready to sign off for today as you can see i did wear my tops baseball card or pops tops baseball uh, shirt back in the day when tops was five cents a pack wouldn't that be neat have a have a nice little sale to, today and just buy five cents a pack <laughs> That would be bringing us back in time, that's for sure. But other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish things up for today and get ready to say my goodbyes. And uh, you guys have a great and wonderful day. And I will see you guys around the channels. Um, oh, Frank, yesterday, as far as yesterday, I didn't give you a call right away. But... Um, I don't know if you have a minute now. What time is it there? 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. It's about 2.30 there. So I don't know if you have a minute. I can give you a quick call when we finish up this live stream. If it's okay with you. If not, that's fine too. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. You guys have a great and wonderful day. It has been fun uh, spending time with you guys. That's for sure. And I do really enjoy um, all the time we do get to spend together. And 
So you guys have a great and wonderful day, and we will see you guys around the channels, okay? Bye for now, guys. See you tomorrow morning, same bat time, same bat channel, all right? You guys take care, okay? Bye for now.